Chris Kokalis with Pivot Cycles and this is the new Mach 429 Trail. We, uh, we've had uh, one of the best selling bikes in our line is the Mach 429 Carbon and now the new Mach 429 SL that we launched in uh, December. And uh, now we follow it up with the new Mach 429 Trail which is basically a trail, longer travel version of what we've uh, built with the 429. Our, uh, our 429 SL is extremely lightweight race bike that's uh, somewhat trail capable. We often get feedback that um, what if you could do a little bit more or what if you could take it in more extreme terrain and this is the bike to that answer so or that question the answer to that question. Um, with the uh, with the new Mach 429 trail we've uh, we've done some pretty unique things with it. it uh, it's really kind of a combination of the 429 SL and the Mach 6 in that um, it features the uh, some geometry characteristics of both. The shorter seat tube length for dropper posts that's on the Mach 6. It's got a new uh, our mid, new mid travel linkage design that's influenced by the Mach 6 and the same lower link as the Mach 6 which allows us to design a bike that's really tuned more for trail use so it still pedals with that fast crispness of the uh, of the 429 SL but as you get deeper into the travel it's got that more bottomless feel uh, that the Mach 6 is famous for. Um, on the back end of the bike We've designed the bike with a Boost 148 spacing and 110 Boost on the front. The Boost 148 on the rear allowed us to shorten the chain stays a little bit and also increase tire clearance. So it can fit up to the widest 2.4 29er tires on the market. What it also does is allows this bike to be 27.5 plus compatible. So you can run it with like a WTD 2.8 with uh, 35 millimeter rims. That fits really nice in this bike as, as well. So it uh, really adds to the versatility. Up front, we're running 130 millimeter travel Fox 34, uh, excellent fork, paired with the new F Fox Float DPS rear shock. So DPS is their new dual piston system, behaves uh, very much like the remote reservoir uh, um, uh, Float X shock, and uh, offers a high level of tunability and and great shock for all conditions. So uh, basically, from uh, from front to back, the bike um, is all brand new. It's not a, um, a new rear triangle on an existing front end. It's, uh, it's, it's an all new ground up bike. And with that, a couple of things that we've done is uh, with this category, we wanted to build a more value oriented bike. So we've, uh, uh, compared to the 429 SL, this uses more standard modulus materials, but some larger diameter tubes to keep the stiffness up. Frame weight is 5.9 pounds. So still very, very light in the trail bike category. Um, it has external routing along the down tube and then internal routing through the chain stays and for the dropper, internal dropper post routing as well. Um, the, the end result is we get a, a, a very high performance all around trail bike frame um, at a uh, pretty greatly reduced price from where the 429 SL and Mach 6, 6 sit. Those bikes are both at $29.99. This frame sells for $24.99, and we have uh, complete bikes starting under $4,000. The new Mach 429 Trail will start to ship uh, second week in July.